Okay, so from that um, uh, diaphragmatico hepatic view, we're then going to move up to the left flank or the splenorenal renal view. So again, spirit on the on the site, just put our probe in place, and then all we're going to do is just fan up and fan down. And all we're looking for is fluid around the kidney, um, between kidney and colon, and between kidney and spleen, and spleen and colon. And often we're just talking about quite a small amount of fluid in this site, uh, so just a very thin uh, anechoic black regions um, and, uh, and small triangles. Generally fairly obvious to see what we're looking for. Um, false negatives would include, sorry, false positives would include uh, both the small intestinal mucosa, so sometimes we pick that up and it looks like black, uh, can look like black or anechoic regions uh, corresponding to the muscularis and to the, cir uh, to the mucosa, or we can also pick up the great vessels, so aorta and vena cava, um, and again, they can appear like anechoic uh, linear structures, or if we rotate the probe into transverse section, we can pick them up as, as circular structures. Uh, and again, uh, the key there really is just to try following them uh, and rotating the probe to see if we can change them from, from being circular in cross section to, to linear. Uh, if you have colour Doppler on the machine, you can also uh, turn that on and you can see whether those structures have, have obvious flow. Uh, clearly there'd be no flow if you have uh, free fluid in the abdomen. Um, and again, if, you, if we're spotting fluid at all, uh, then, then that's considered to be a positive response.